Nepal, enriched with cultural and natural heritage, is an attractive country to the entire world. One of the prides of the rich Asian culture is Nepal's Buddhist culture and heritage. One arrives at Lumini to find the footprints of ancient human civilization dating back to more than 2500 years. There are precious relics of architecture and physical infrastructures of the ancient society which gave birth to Lord Gautama Buddha, the light of Asia. This is the garden of Lumini where Lord Gautama Buddha was born. The birthplace is regarded as the center of holy faith for the millions of Buddhists all over the world. The state of Kapilvastu was destroyed in an attack by neighboring state during the waning period of Buddha's life. The then famous Indian emperor of Maurya dynasty, Ashoka, visited this holy place during his visit, the emperor started excavations of this place. Ashoka established the colossal stone pillar with a stone plaque on it that states that Shakyamuni Buddha was born here. The then UN Secretary General Youth Hanta had expressed his concern for the preservation of relics of Lumbini. Development works in the World Heritage Site gained momentum after a master plan designed by Japanese engineer Professor Kenzo Tange was endorsed. Lumbini Development Trust, established in 1985, is massively engaged in infrastructure construction, including museum and research center and other development activities in the area. Principal works on infrastructure building for tourists have been completed. Tilora Kod was the capital of Kapilvastu, ruled by Lord Buddha's father Suddhodan and his ancestors. Situated 28 kilometers west of Lumini, this place was the threshold of Lord Buddha's long march. At the age of 29, Lord Buddha detached himself from the luxurious lifestyle and started search for enlightenment and the true meaning of life. Dev Daha, which lies in the current Rupandehi district of Nepal, was the maternal home of Gautama Buddha. The vestiges of old bricks and foundations can be found in four different locations at Dev Daha, which is situated some 57 kilometers east of Lumbini. An ancient ruin of a brick-built stupa has been discovered in Ramgram. The then king of Kolia dynasty built the wonderful stupa and worshipped for a long time here. The Kolias obtained one of the eight parts of the Buddha's remnant which they enshrined here and built a magnificent stupa. During his pilgrimage, Emperor Ashoka visited Niglihawa and built a stupa and set up a column. Renowned British archaeologist Elios Führer discovered this pillar in 1896. It is believed that Konakmuni Buddha was born here and that the stupa is also believed to be that of Konakmuni Buddha. Prince Biryadhak of neighboring state launched a violent attack in Sagarhawa of Kapilvastu, killing at least 77,000 Shakyas during the waning period of the Buddha's life. Following the assault, the city turned into structural ruins. Excavations carried out in 1895 here discovered that there was a huge water pond and ruins of stupas and other monuments were also found. Gotihawa is regarded as the birthplace of Krakun Chanda Buddha. During his campaign of establishing stupas, the Indian emperor also erected an Ashokan pillar here. Huge mound of structural relics of various stupas have been found in the ancient civilization. 
After experiencing the great enlightenment, Gautam Buddha came to Kudan disseminating his eternal preaching. He gave discourses on the measures to end sorrow and worries and giving lessons on peace, brotherhood, non-violence, positive thought and other supreme human values. One can reach Lumbini on a plane journey from Kathmandu, the capital of Nepal, to Bhairava and subsequently half an hour drive from Bhairava. Or one can catch a bus from Kathmandu that takes only 8 to 10 hours to get to Lumbini. Similarly, Sunoli in Nepal-India border could be another viable route to enter into Lumbini if one plans to visit the Buddhist monuments of Bodhgaya, Sarnath, Kushinagar, etc. first.